Okay, so we have our uh, olive oil. It's about a third of a cup of olive oil and the uh, garlic cloves in there. And we're going to go in and add our um, rosemary. Okay. And we're looking to add about a oh, about a teaspoon worth of rosemary. Okay. And put that right in. And we got some salt. You can use sea salt, regular salt. Um, I'm going to add in a teaspoon of salt. Okay. And fresh ground pepper. Say about a oh, half a teaspoon or so. Then we want to give our lemon a nice roll, kind of loosen up those juices. Okay, cut that in half. Give it a good squeeze. Don't worry if the um, seeds go in; they'll just settle on the bottom of the pan. Yeah, it's a pretty juicy lemon, so. One should do it. Like I said, if it's really juicy, one lemon, not so juicy, two lemons, one and a half, two lemons. And we're going to give that a nice stir, mix that up, let that sit for a few minutes, and then we'll, um, so that way the garlic can pick up a lot of that flavor. Okay, now what we're going to do is, if you have a nice uh, boning knife or a small knife, just want to put in some slits in the lamb, about so deep, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight, eight on this side, and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side, about eight, so get these uh, garlic which I've sliced up, and you can just press them in with your finger so that they're stuffed inside, they won't come out. It doesn't take much to get them in there, and that really gives it a nice garlic flavor inside the lamb. Okay, and we'll stuff all those holes and we'll do the other side. Okay, so we got our leg of lamb all prepped, nice stuff with the garlic and the. Um, coated it with the olive oil, the, the um, rosemary, uh, salt, pepper, and the um, juice that we had. Got it all ready. Now we're going to prep it, get it set for the uh, rotisserie. So, I'm going to take your bar first thing, and what you want to do is just put it through the center, okay? Until it comes out the other end, doesn't take much force, okay? And then once that's on, you're going to slip these end pieces. That slides right on. And what you want to do, this, this way it pulls it, so when it turns, it doesn't spin on the rod, okay? And then the same thing for the other end. And this is, this, um, and there you have it. And this will spin on the rotisserie. So we're going to go get the grill started. And uh, one good way to use these back burner rotisseries is that sometimes they'll light, they won't light and stay lit, is to get the grill nice and hot. So I'm just going to light it, get the inside nice and hot. Um, and then we'll uh, fire up the uh, rotisserie and put the lamb on. We've got that rotisserie going. And that's nice and lit. What you want to do is just get the pan, put it right on where you think it's going to go, in the center, and we'll pop it in our nice. motor. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's burning nice and nice. 
get it set. Tighten up the keys. And we're ready to rock and roll. So we'll get that motor going. Get it turning. So we can see how that's going. You can see it's a slow turn, nice slow turn, that's what you want. And this is about eight pounds. So rule of thumb is uh, keep it closed with the rotisserie on, 20 minutes to the pound will come out perfect. Nice uh, medium red, a medium. The other thing too is I got my leftover um, marinade uh, with the garlic in it and the rosemary and all that good stuff, olive oil, lemon juice, salt, pepper. Keep this on the side. Every time we come out 20 minutes or so we'll baste it with this and that gives it a nice coating. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, so we'll check this, see how it's doing. Oh yeah, you can see how it's starting to brown up nice. Perfect, we'll come back in another 20 and maybe stop basting it. Okay, we got about, just about an hour to go, so we started parboiling the potatoes and the string beans. So we'll give that another couple of minutes, so we'll strain it. And we'll put it in with the lamb. Oh, you don't want ice. All right, so we got the green beans, and we're gonna pour those in. And we want it right in the pan. Those nice drippings. Okay, now we got the potatoes. Just slide this out a little bit. Pour those in, and this has got about another oh, 40 50 minutes to go. So, those are pot partially cooked. It's another baste. See that? That looks like perfect. Like I said, about another 45 minutes, this will be all ready, nice, nice. Okay, so the lamb is ready, brought it in, we're going to let it put it on this cutting board, let it rest for good 15, 20 minutes. Okay, as you can see, you got a nice beautiful slice with the garlic pieces in it. That's what it looks like in there, and we're ready to rock and roll. Look who's waiting. For over 100 years. Outside. Come on. <laughs> Sit. Come on. <laughs> Wolfie gets the bone. Look at that bone, Wolfie. You gonna have fun with that? Huh? Yeah. You enjoy. <laughs>